Chewing me, welcome to my channel, but more specifically, welcome to another Chewing Me video where you can see here we have the usual suspects. We have uh, the Marvel Legends across the Spider Verse figures. We have, you know, Spider Man 2099, Spider Gwen, Miles Morales, and the toy version of the spot. And uh, um, so I made a video saying, you know, don't buy these because they're a ripoff and stuff like that. And, you know, and they are a ripoff. Uh, where I live, they're 25 US dollars. And then when you account for tax, they're around 27 ish, which is a ripoff for these when they should very easily be, you know, 15. Like, like if I were to find these figures and this guy, like, if I were to see these two on shelves for, like, $12 each, I would think, yeah, that's pretty reasonable. Some people dislike toys figures because those people don't know how to appreciate, you know, art here. Um, but uh, if I were to see these on stores, like, the plastic quality on these two is basically the same level of plas plastic quality. This This one is good quality, and this one is not $25 quality plastic it's it's not like it's better quality plastic than toy Biz, so i don't see why it's like almost four times the price uh well four times the price is a little bit high like like 3.7 times the price i think maybe uh but e either way uh regardless <clears throat> um so what uh what i did was i i was i was gonna keep i was gonna keep spider-man 2099 and then return these these two i was gonna keep this one for sure I was going to turn these two, like, I made a video saying how he has, like, or she had, like, a cracked torso on the front and the back. There was, like, something wrong with one of the ankles, I think. And then, uh, the Miles had a broken left arm. So, obviously, I don't want to keep a toy with a broken arm and, like, a damaged, like, chest joint, which, it looked dumb. And I don't want to, you, you know, you shouldn't have to settle for that kind of stuff when you're paying, like, almost $30 for an action figure. Um, uh, so, so I, I did return them and I decided, you know... If I'm going to return them, I'm going to go all the way to Target. I'm just going to return all of them. So, I was a sucker, and I returned all four of them, which I kind of regretted. The one I regretted the most was probably 2099 and maybe the spot. Uh, ultimately, I didn't feel bad at returning these. Originally, I was going to return them and just buy, buy, buy them again and hope they didn't have the QC issues, but I was like, you know what? I don't care. I give up. I'm just going to use the money to buy something else. You know, for example, the Toy Biz Black Suit Spider-Man figure... So, you know, I, I did buy it, but there's a catch. I also ended up getting these guys. So, spoilers, I was able to get all five of these figures a lot cheaper than original. This one, I mean, technically, I did get scalped. This one, originally, it was sold in stores for, like, $9. The person I bought it from on eBay charged me 10 so not really a big deal. And the shipping was 6 but I got to get the packaging. Shipping being, like, 6 bucks is totally reasonable for this. It's actually a deal for such a big box like that. Um... Uh, so what I ended up doing was I returned them to the stores and I gave up. I decided I'm just going to save the money and, you know, either save it or buy something else that I like more, you know. And I decided to be a sucker because uh, one of my friends, we went to a, a Target, and also another Target that's like five or six cities away from where I live. It's quite a far drive, uh, but my friend, uh, she bought a thing on eBay or not on eBay. She bought, you know, you can buy stuff like on uh, like uh, like for Target and Walmart. You could buy it online and then. You can go pick it up at a store if they have it. So that's what she did because they didn't have it at the Target near our house. So we had to drive all the way over there and the two of us went together. Um, you know, me being a sucker, I went to go check the toys to see if, what if they had like, I don't know, like, it, I, I just wanted to go check because I'm a sucker. And we went there and then, uh, and then the, they, they had, uh, they had four figures this time, including the toy version. But as far as the Marvel Legends go, they had four versions if we take a look on the back of the box because I don't remember her name. Yeah, Jessica Drew. So they still had Miles, Spider-Gwen, 2099. Jessica Drew, and uh, they, they, they only had those, they only had these four here. I still haven't yet to see these in stores. Um, I did actually see, uh, at the same Target I went to, um, when, when we were leaving, spoilers, I bought some figures. After we were leaving, I saw, uh, I saw this, uh, I saw like this kid, and this kid and probably his mom, uh, leaving, and he was holding this toy, like in his hands, like walking, walking to the car or whatever. I saw him holding this figure, and I knew that, that, that kid if I would have got there sooner, I would have seen this and made fun of it with my friend. And, you know, she kind of, she thinks it's cool how I'm not embarrassed to, like, tell people, yeah, I collect Spider-Man toys. She, she doesn't find that, like, like, oh, you collect toys? You're a loser, you know? So that, that's kind of nice. Um, but the reason I got these, though, I'm a loser because I bought them anyway, so Hasbro still won. But they didn't win as hard. They didn't win 25 of my dollars. Um... Because you know they don't get they don't get the tax money. But what what did happen here was they 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 showed those figures and they were hanging on the pegs and they said they were twenty five dollars. Um and uh, and you know fun fact uh, targets I don't and it might just be where I live. Also I don't know if Target 
I don't think Target is worldwide. I think it's just in the U.S. I think I think Target is just in the U.S. Uh, but either way, Target's it's Target is kind of like Walmart. If you don't know, it's it's kind of like Walmart, except it's they sell instead of having like the like sort of generic Walmart brand, they have like a generic Target brand, which you know whatever. That's like a whole separate thing. Uh, but but they have them there. Um, and they have a you know they have like the kiosk thing that you can scan something if you don't if you don't know what the price is for it. And I decided just for fun to just take one and scan it. And it said they were eighteen dollars. They were seventeen ninety nine. So about eighteen, and then including or no, no, they were they were sixteen ninety nine, and then with tax they were like, like seventeen ish, like maybe eighteen ish. So they were about eighteen dollars, uh, including tax, for one of these figures. And at the other Target they were about twenty seven, including tax. So that is nine dollars off. Yeah, that's my math correct. Yeah, so eighteen, twenty seven. Yeah, they they were like nine dollars off. So then if I were to buy these, I would save $27. And then they also they also were selling this guy. Instead of like the, the target near my house, instead of instead of them selling this for uh for $15, they were selling them for $12, which it's only $3 off. But buying all these, I I saved $30. Uh let that sink in. I saved 30 bucks on these. Uh and so but the the little the peg they were hanging on said they were $24.99. It said like it says like M L A S or ATSV Spider-Man? It says something like like something Marvel Legends and then ATSV and then add like a code for it. So it was these figures. And what I decided to do was uh so I, I don't I didn't have cash with me. I had a I had a card and my friend, she did have cash. And then I asked her, hey, uh, and then I kind of explained her how it, it so this is also a, a reference for you guys. So if you find something in stores that is uh is like say like these $25 and you scan them and it shows that they're 18. Uh, don't pay with a card. Pay with cash. Don't pay with any sort of card. Just pay with cash. Because let's say, for example, there's like an issue with their system and it undercharges you. The store can actually contact, I think they can contact your bank or they can trace it back to you and then demand that you pay them the rest of the money. Or they could, I don't know if they could sue you, but they could demand the rest of the money. And if they have their card, they already have your card with, they already have your card in the system so they could just take it from you. You know, technically they can, but if you pay with cash... What are they going to do? Take more cash from you? If, if you give if you give them physical money, they can't, you know, take more of it from you. You know what I mean? So I didn't have cash, and so I asked her, "Hey, do you have cash? Uh, if you buy these for me, I'll uh, I'll um I'll I'll pay you back or whatever. You know, I'll give you the money when I can." So uh, and then she did. You know, she's really nice like that. So then we did, and then she bought them for me, which made me feel like a little kid that I had asked someone to buy them for me. But then I did pay her back, so you know that that's even. Um, uh, and, and so I ended up getting these. For, yeah, like, $30 cheaper than I did at the other store. I mean, like, th that's a lot of money. Like, 9 bucks. I With the money I saved, I could have bought Jessica Drew. But the thing is, I don't care about Jessica Drew because she's not really a Spider-Man character. She's not a, she's not a Spider-Man character. She appears in Spider-Man content. But it's kind of like how Doctor Strange appears in, like, No Way Home. Yeah, he, he's, not, he's not a Spider-Man character, but he did help Spider-Man, but... Like, when people think of, like, Spider-Man characters, no one thinks of, like, Jessica Drew or, like, Spider-Woman because she's not, she's not a Spider-Man character. She's, like, her own separate thing that just happens to have a similar, uh, animal name. Uh, so, so I got these cheaper. So I highly recommend if, if you, if you, like, you know, go to different stores if you can. And if you find them cheaper, it, whether, whether it's, like, maybe the machine was defective, I don't know. But I got them cheaper. And if, and if you're able to do that, I highly recommend, uh, if you do it, pay with cash so they can't like you know trace it and try to get you. It does sound kind of sketchy. It does sound kind of weird, but it's it's. I mean, you know, it's their fault for doing it wrong. So that's their. I'm getting choked up here. Uh, this is like my fourth or fifth time trying to do this because it keeps going over 15 minutes when it probably shouldn't. Honestly, this should be like five minutes. Uh, but yeah. So ultimately, that's what happened. I got them cheap. I'm I'm still gonna complain about these like I would if they were 25 dollars. Yes, I didn't pay 25 dollars. But but when I review them, I'm still going to point that out because it's the principle. Hasbro decided their toys are going to be sold for $25. These are only U.S. dollars, by the way. They're going to be sold for $25, they decided. So when I when I review them, I'm going to review them as if that is how much Hasbro thinks they're worth. For me, these should be maybe like 12 bucks. You know, it should be like, that's what they should be like, maybe $12. And this should be like 5 or all of these should be the same price, you know. Because there's not really anything that makes this better than this. It does have more sculpting, but it does have more articulation. But the plastic on these is, this doesn't feel any higher quality plastic than this. Which, it's either saying something bad about this or something positive about this. 
And this one, these do not have, like, the QC issues. Like, for example, uh, Spider Gwen does not have the cracked torso. Oops. She does not have the cracked torso right here or on the back. There's, like, some scuffing still. I don't know why that happens, though. There's a little bit of, like, paint mess-ups here and there. But, uh, but you know, I looked at them. Also, uh, I looked at them. Uh, my voice is getting kind of weird. I did, I did look at them to see if they had QC issues. And, like, the biggest issues is, like, paint being wrong or, like, broken joints and stuff. 2099 is you know, basically, like, the same, he's, he's, he had, like, the least QC issues I've noticed, and the original Miles I got had a, had a, like, a red, red speck there, this one has, if we zoom it times three, you can see it has, like, slight, slight red speckle, the one I got originally did have more, like, red paint and stuff, the eyes are very similar, the other one had, I don't, I don't think the other one had this paint issue, but when you're looking at it in the box, or, like, even this distance, it's hard to tell, like, like, if you hold it, like, what's this about, like, two feet from my face, maybe like a foot and a half from my face, um, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to tell, you know, uh, but like, if he's standing here, I, I can still see it, but it's not like super obvious, you know, if he's like from over there, you don't see it, and then the spot, the only issue with the spot is, they only had one left, this was the only one they had left, and, uh, um, he did have like a, some scratched, like, plastic, look like someone cut the plastic, I don't think that's Hasbro's fault, I think it might have been like, like, it could have been some jerk in the stores, and, you know, I, I was actually going to make a video, I was going to make a video showing, um, like, look guys, I got these and stuff, but then there was, there was this stupid kid, the same one that got Peter B. Parker, that was just screaming his head off like an idiot, and his mom didn't do anything, you know, I hate kids like that, you know, th th those kids are the worst, and I just told my friend, you know, I want to get out of here as quick as possible, so I just told her, let's just, let's just go, because this kid's driving me nuts, so I didn't take any pictures or anything, because I just wanted to get out of there, I did take one picture, which actually was of uh, um this like this like box that you get a bunch of the toy version figures in, which looked really cool because you get like a translucent Spider-Man 2099, and there's also the spot in it, which is really cool. I took a picture of that like when I got there first, and then the kid showed up, so I was like, I want to get out of here before the kid gets me. So then we left. Um, uh, but but yeah, so that that's a pretty much all for this video. Uh, so my advice to you is if you happen to if you go places and you happen to find them cheaper, or even if you don't see them cheaper, just scan them and maybe they're cheaper. And then if you can. Preferably pay with cash. Uh, uh, but yeah, so that's all for this video. Let me to think about me uh, being sneaky and getting them cheaper. But I'll see you guys when I eventually review these. So uh, yeah, bye guys.